Choosing a title for an album sometimes is the easiest thing in the world and other times it takes a great deal of prayer. Lord, Lord, where are we at this point? Our albums are real. The songs you write through the people are real. Our lives are real. Where are we? What are we in need of? What do we depend upon? With all those things in mind, Matt, Nina, Frontline, collectively and individually, they sat and they looked at their lives and prayed and the title for this album I feel is very appropriate for what we want to see happen. The title is The Interruption. Who would think that worship would be an interruption but all the great things of God were an interruption. When Bartimaeus screamed out and interrupted Jesus' teaching, the real teaching began. As a man who was blind turned the eyes of God upon him and he saw for the rest of his life. It was in that prayer meeting that was interrupted that the Holy Spirit came and the church was born with power. The Bible is filled with interruptions. The dictionary defines the word interruption is this. To stop abruptly, to make a break in the continuancy, and this is my favorite, to interfere in some action. We have watched worship unto God, born in common people who just love to serve their Savior. We have watched that worship stop people abruptly in their tracks. In fact, it's happened to all of us as well. It stopped us in going a wrong direction. It's, it stopped us in the way we lived with an apathy or sometimes a mediocre life. It stopped us in not having dreams and not believing God. It, it made a difference. But not only that, it, it made a break in the continuancy of just day to day of just getting by and it said no more getting by make a difference but the most important part of that definition is found when it says to interfere in some action I pray that the songs in this album interrupt your life I pray that they do more than soothe you or make you feel good or allow you to sing along. I pray they interrupt sickness, disease. I, I pray they s stop abruptly the divorce. I, I pray that they, they change everything that would try to destroy man because when you worship God, pure people don't worship God. People with sin worship God and when they do, they don't stay the way they are. But the best thing is this, when nothing else can break through the belief that he's still God can break down the walls that are trying to stop us from living. There's a little boy and I feel like he's my family because he that's how he is with everybody. He loves people and even at a young age children are all open but this little guy is something special about him. His name is Josiah Atchison and we have been praying for this baby because this little boy, he is in a hospital and he has a malady, a sickness. He has something that unless God intervenes, people say was not possible. But he believes like you would never imagine. And he is a true warrior at fighting against the continuancy of this thing in him. He wants it to stop abruptly. And this little boy... He wants some interference. He wants the Holy Spirit, the power of God, to interfere in his body physically. And we've been praying for that. And he's believing with us. Hundreds of people are praying. But if I could bring him to you, if you could meet him, if there was some way you would just fall in love with this one and begin to pray for him, then never again would your prayer life be the same. Never again. From then on, you would be able to believe for everybody with any kind of need. This one's so easy to believe because the need is so great and the child is so innocent and he's such a worshiper and he's one of the faithful listeners. 
to Frontline Music. He's a faithful friend to Pastor Lloyd Ziegler. His father is a master's director. His mother is a powerful woman of God and co-master's director at their master's. They're very creative, very powerful, but more important than that, when this sickness came upon them, we were together in Puerto Rico. And as they flew home, I, they weren't the only ones because Maria's sister sings on this team. It's Cat, Cat Holder. That's her little, her little nephew, and he's so great, and he loves her so much. So Josiah, we dedicate you the most powerful song we have, the greatest belief, the core of Frontline, the belief that no matter what we walk through, there is a deliverer, there is a powerful name, the name of Jesus. There's a God. He's in heaven. He's in earth. He's in you. Tonight and every night that this album is played, people will hear a prayer for Josiah. Because Josiah, we believe in that God. Hi Josiah, this is Nina. You may remember me when you come to conference and you see me up there singing. I just want to tell you and let you know that I am so proud of you. I know right now you love Spider-Man, but to me, you're a lot stronger than Spider-Man. You're the real Spider-Man. And I'm praying for you every day. I love you so much. Hey Josiah, it's me, Mina. I'm just wanting to say that every time that I worship, man, every time I worship, I just think of your face last conference. Seeing your face in the audience, giving your whole heart to God. I just want you to know that from this moment on, whatever song that I sing, whatever in my prayer time, whenever I worship, that I'm going to be fighting for you. And I just want to let you know that I love you. Josiah, it's Matt, Nina's husband, and I want to let you know you got a great dad, man. He is holding out hope and faith beyond anything you've ever seen. And I know it's great to listen to him at night because I was there when he recorded that CD and he read the scripture off. And he believes in God just like you do. And you get that strength from him and your mom and you keep believing that because that is a thing that will pull you through. We don't pray and hope that God will work. We know he's going to move. We are expecting that. And we stand, we're, we're defiant about that. It's going to happen. There is no question. And we wait, we wait for the next album to come to talk about what a great testimony that God has already done in you. Man, we're pulling for you, baby. Keep coming. Josiah, I can't tell you enough how much I love you and your, and your brother Ben. You bring such joy to my life and, and to your Uncle Robbie's life. And Marie and Dan, your spirit, your fight, your strength through all of this has been so contagious. I just want to let you know that you're not alone. You are not alone, Maria. You're not alone, Dan. I love you guys so much. And what a testimony this is going to be to your lives from here on out. I love you guys so much. You're listening to this CD and some of you are great prayer warriors. And I ask you to pray for this baby, pray for this family. But some of you are listening to this CD and you're feeling, man, I'm sick, I'm hurting. But we're going to include you in this prayer right now because a prayer that prays to God isn't just for one, it's for everyone. And if we can agree together that Josiah needs prayer, then we can agree you need prayer and, and your sister and your family and, and your loved one. And that's how he would want it. If he was here, you would hear him pray the purest prayer. But together you're going to hear another group of people pray. Frontline. A people that are committed to worship God but a people that are also committed to call his name in prayer. For we believe that prayer moves the hand of God. Pray with us. Dear God, I thank you. I thank you that you are a healer and that, Lord God, that Josiah, Lord God, is in your hands. And Lord God, we thank you for your promise. I thank you for every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, every teenager that is listening right now, Lord God. And, and, and many of them, Lord God, this might be the only prayer that's being prayed over them. And so, Lord God, they don't have a, a pastor in their home or a person right there. There's no one seeming around, but God, you're there. And we pray to a God that, Lord God, knows how to touch people. I ask you, God, to come and to touch every sickness, every disease, 
disease, every problem, Lord God, and, and do a miracle for people who are daring to believe you, a people who know one thing, no matter what I walk through, no matter where I stand, you're still God, for that is the fact. You're absolute God. You're absolutely there. And we pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen.